Hey guys, I want to do a real quick video on identifying a ground side switched circuit that has high voltage on it all the time. In other words, it's not being turned on and how to know where your problem is. This is a very, very simple test. This is section three in my book for you guys that are following along. Uh, you'll also find this material in this case for a fuel injector in section 18. So the issue with this car, I'll just tell you right away, our number eight injector is not firing. We have a fault code for the number eight injector. And uh, the first thing that I'll do for you guys is I will unplug it and show you with a Noid light connected that there's no activity here. This is not really the correct light for this circuit, but it should should work for what I'm doing. Let me start it and show you. Okay, so no no flashing of this light, as you can see. I'll show you a different injector. That's what it should be doing with a good injector, flashing on and off. Then you see the one that we're, we're testing here. Got no pulse. All right, next step, I have the harness plugged back in and I'm reading 12.8 volts on my control wire on my fuel injector. One quick way to verify that you're on the control wire is just simply unplug the injector while you're still back probing that. See it dropped to zero volts. Sorry, my meter just shut off there. Plug it back in, it should go to 12. If you're on the feed wire for the injector, it would stay at 12 unplugged and plugged in. You see 12.8 volts. All right, next step in, in identifying, do I have a computer problem or do I have an open in the wire? is just simply take the same measurement at the computer on that same control wire. So I'm going to take this off of here and go over to my computer and I'm just going to reach the same test lead over. I already have the wire identified so some of this is a little bit more difficult in identification but plugging in right there I'm on that computer wire I'm reading zero volts so if this was a faulty computer, if this was a computer that wasn't turning this injector on, we would have 12 volts in this location. The fact that we have zero says we have an open in the harness between here and the injector, which is off the screen. Uh, there's one other variable here is that's maybe our pin isn't making contact and, or maybe we're on the wrong wire. So a final test that you can do is just simply go to battery positive in this case. It's a ground side switched injector taking a test light and what I'll do is I will take that off and back probe this same connector test lights in the shot and we'll start the car or start the truck if this if this driver is good and we made the right call in an open in this harness that test lights going to flicker on and off My lead came off the alternator. Using the alternator post for my battery positive feed. You see my test lights flickering on and off. Really substituting a Noid light. Nothing wrong with that driver. Confirmed open harness. So think about what I just showed you guys. I used nothing more than a multimeter and a test light and a Noid light to identify an open in the harness on a fuel injector circuit. And this vehicle came to us from a garage that said he needed to replace the engine computer to fix this problem. They replaced the injector that didn't fix it. And then the next step was they wanted to replace the computer and he pulled the plug on them, had him bring it here. So um, crazy 
that uh, you know I didn't really need a scope to identify this. Now I do have another video that will be on my premium channel that will walk through the whole thing with scope measurements and all of that. But the point with this one is I just wanted to show how easy this is and how fundamental these testing procedures are. And this is all the stuff that I'm stressing in my class every single day. I mean, this is really, there's no excuse for this technician missing this problem. One other piece you guys are probably going to ask me about is where is the open. Uh, I'm not going to include that in this. If you guys want to see where the open is in this harness, you need to go on my other channel and watch the entire uh, case study that we did. I actually used this vehicle in class this morning and, and we walked through a lot of different scenarios and plugged in some cool stuff. There's some other problems with this vehicle too. It has a plugged exhaust as well as a open in the harness and uh, we're going to be playing around with a pressure transducer in the cylinders and back pressure testing and of course I'm going to show scope waveforms and things like that. But I know a lot of you guys do not have a scope and I thought well, it would be cool to show you how easy this is with just some basic tools. So again, uh, that was my intent. Hopefully you guys like that. I want to do a little bit more like this, I think, moving forward and, and show you guys uh, some non-scope, non-high-tech tools that really, uh, it just takes a basic knowledge of the workings of the system and you can still troubleshoot these. So thanks again.